Welcome to Starfinder with the Fragments of Eternity, Session 34, Part 2. I am Ryan the GM. It is the 21st of October, 2019. Here are the players in no particular order. <laughs> Hello. I'm Nico. I'm playing Zora. Best cap. Greetings. Hi! <laughs> I'm Alex. <laughs> I play Nix5, the Android mechanic. And I've confused everyone. Uh, uh, <laughs> Hi there, I'm Zig, and I'll be. <laughs> no wait, oh, shit. No, do it, do it, do it. You fucking. Hi. Did. Get to this. <laughs> Hi, I'm Colin, and I'll be playing Lyco Quint. Hi, I'm Alice. I'm a. Wow. I'm an he, Android technomancer. Colin. I think I'm something special. Yeah. Just for the record, he, he's he's not Colin. He's like it's a lot more like outdoorsy. Kind of a bit twinkish, but no. <laughs> Sorry, no offense. Like That's a, not an insult. Like a weather, like a like a weathered either. twink. Um, whereas I, I'm a mountain more twink. Like, <laughs> more like, is that like a dwarf <laughs> twink? Like, sort of, I, I guess, like a. Uh, uh, Look, they're called pebbles. Um, <laughs> Uh, I can't remember the term I came up to describe uh, my aesthetic. Callum, we'll go with, we'll you'll go always be a pebble Dracula. to me, okay? Uh, uh, always pebble is precious. There we go. Oh, heck. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> what a good boy. What a good boy. <laughs> um, hi, I'm Colin. I'm playing like a quid, but actually for real this time. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, hello. Did Zeg actually introduce himself at any point, just, or did he just, just do an impersonation just, of me? Just waiting on. Oh, right, yeah. Hi, I'm Callum, and I'll be playing Zig, Mastical Space Rat. The Mastical? Yes, the Mastical <laughs> Space Rat. I can't impersonate you, so you have to do yourself, sorry. Mastical... I'll impersonate you impersonating me. <laughs> okay, cool. Hi, I'm Callum, and I'll be playing Zig! <laughs> you know that! The Magical Space Rat! <laughs> That, that is probably how it would yeah, come out. It is crowd. a suitable yeah. mix of pain and Marge Simpson. You're right, that was <laughs> Colin. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I smell like one of your sisters, but. Um, uh, I yeah, feel. So, 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 just here's the official Starfinder apology once again to myself. Uh, moving on. So uh, we should just tag that one at the start of every video. Yeah, we'll just I'll do it as like a kind of overlay thing. We'll just go and re-edit all the videos and put some subtitles on them. And it just says, "I'm sorry, I'm so sorry." This part as well. Apologies, Lyco. <laughs> um, but yeah. So anyway, let's open not all my our cinematic view on board the Vesk capital vessel. Why hello everybody. And uh um, Hello you. You've got what, you're eight foot, right? Uh yeah. So you have like a nine foot something vesk standing over you, looking at you, smirking. Um and then there's just one kind of like almost combination of exhalation and also snort at the same time. Um and then she turns around and kind of walks towards like the kind of view screen that kind of appears on the win like on the kind of wall where you would expect a window to be because Vesk ships don't have windows. So like on the mm. on the side of the ship, and it kind of like opens up almost like a kind of hollow display, but it shows the outside, so it projects the window. Um, and she just kind of stands there staring at it with like her hands clasped just above where her tail forms. She hasn't said a single word yet. Okay. Uh, hmm. Would I start? Would I? Would I open the dialogue? Like, I feel like asking what she's brought me here for is just like a, a redundant question. I don't feel like Vesk would do redundant questions. So no. <laughs> I dare not to answer that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm. uh, I think I would just wait for it to say something. I'll like something to come up on the screen. It's about to show something. Yeah, well, if you're looking at the screen, you can see it's looking at verses. Okay. So it's like a view okay, of the right, planet. So. Um, is there a reason you called for me, Commander? Or just felt like catching up? 
Okay, no. Snuggle. <laughs> but probably more like... <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, like, for, like... Vesk don't really do ranks that way, like... General or commander or captain or whatever are equivalent to the Abyss or the Event Horizon. Right? Oh, okay, right, right. And so, so like, I her rank would be the Event Horizon, even though she's the only one of that. Just like, you're the Abyss, you're the only one of that. Um, okay. If you find another Vesk that named themselves a rank of that, like if you find somebody else that went, oh, I'm the Abyss, your job would kill be them. to kill them, exactly. Yeah. Um, would I say ma'am then or something? Like, <laughs> seems like Event Horizon. I won't fight, fuck it, I'll say Event Horizon is, is screw it. Like, I mean, that uh, is her title, so... Yeah, yeah, it's true, like... You could, so, call, you could call her Matva if you really wanted to. I assume that... Your call was... Well, something with important Event Horizon. Well, would you just like to catch up? Old times. She, um, kind of looks over her shoulder. Can I hear the kind of gold plates moving on her armor? I mean, um, you hear her voice for the first time in a long time. And she says, "It might have been a long time for someone as young as you, but to me, it wasn't so long ago we last spoke." Snuggle. See what do you, what way do you come on now? <laughs> the hand goes up and just kind of waves it off, and then the screen like vanishes at the same time. Uh, she turns round and she says, "Bold and strong, time has been kind." Well, you don't well. know. So at that point, you don't know if she's talking about herself or you. I feel like I'm just gonna shoot she just talk about me even though like Yeah that's like, but that's totally the against the bold, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess. It's like well, I mean And maybe that, since I've maybe, sorry, the Vesk. maybe that is a cultural thing in Vesca site as well, that if you're saying things like that, it should apply to both people in the room. Otherwise, you know is you there gonna specify. Yeah, right? Yeah. Um that so, makes sense. Which is kinda cool, because it's a kind of way of saying I respect you enough to want you to be here, taking up my time. Um, but and also why she hasn't snapped her neck for calling her old. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, but she's big and strong, and that's all that matters. Yeah, and she's like and our coloring as well is kind of like lots of blues, um, as well like really kind of like um, blues that lead into purples around about where her ears would be, and then like white shading underneath that to kind of give them shape. Um, so any kind of almost like edges to her face would have like white shading underneath um, with the strong kind of blues kind and the purples. Kind of like me, but I'm just kind of yeah, blue all Yeah, I was going to say, you're kind of inverted because you're more white with the blue shading, um, which is why you get teased a lot um, for the colourings. I'll be a big lady man. Yep. Um, but then, it's never bugged you, and quite frankly, your commanding officer was... Quite frankly, I'm a foot taller than every arm. Maybe. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, sorry, your response in that scene, obviously bold and strong. Uh, I, would, I, I guess if that was like a sort of mutual statement, I guess mm. I'd probably just stick it at that one, and I probably wouldn't be so, like, selfish, like, like sort of, yes, yeah, so I time away from the vest, because it changed me a little. <laughs> And then she kind of like rubs one of her shoulders, like mockingly, because it hasn't changed you that much. Well, I mean, gotta keep <gasps> in shape. Don't know when stuff like, but just kind of like wave my hands around vaguely. Stuff like what's going on right now with Tom. Gotta be prepared. And she kind of does that thing where she kind of like nods once and kind of like her kind of predatorial eyes are staring straight at you as if you have clicked on to exactly why you're here. Yes. And I guess, I guess like before when she does that actually, I'll just say that if you don't mind my asking, Event Horizon, um, what is all this? Like I'll just kind of like wave around again. 
isn't the war, like, over. Disable all your communication devices, Abyss. Disable? Just kinda whip my communication device and turn it off. I whip my <laughs> tail back and forth. <laughs> 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 um, and then she walks over to like one of the kind of wall mounted kind of shelves and then lifts off the kind of black decorative looking box, opens it and kind of just hands it out to you, open. Mm, fucking me boxes. Uh, <laughs> well, it's it's as if like put all your comms in here is the kind of gist of it. Yeah, okay. Oh right, right. It's a lead box basically. Yeah, uh, yeah. Cool. So on. Cool. And then you can see her like pulling out a part of her armor, which is like the comms unit. She puts it in there, closes it over, and then sets it back on the the shelf, and then motions over to the the seating that just kind of like slides out of the wall. Um, all kind of like deploys, and like a table in between deploys up and stuff like that. And then uh, she goes and she sits. If there's a seat to join her, I would. I would yeah, like it's it's almost as it it's essentially like a couch has like been pulled out of the wall, essentially. Um, and I would like to put everybody's attention to this. The first time I've ever sat with somebody, I've <laughs> 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 all <this> stood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you both sit down, and I assume Vesk couches would be in a way where the tail has space to go through the back. So it's almost like the back so the support is like it. yeah, is raised up. Um, so it probably comes up in one of those almost like like a weird spoiler at the back of a car, um, and goes round. Or some weird thing from the 60s. And then, yeah, she sits down and she just kind of like stares at the table for like a couple of seconds and then looks up and she says, Where do your loyalties lie? To the Viscarium or elsewhere? Right now, Event Horizon, it's to Macro. And then she kind of like, Again, very toothy, as if she's constantly either showing her teeth for a reason or smiling. And uh, she then like pulls out like a data pad thing and throws it over. And it's like clearly it's like a very hardened looking data pad, so it could probably be shot at by a fairly strong weapon and survive. Kind of tosses it to the the table and then it projects up the dossier on all of the crew. It says, Keep, keeping your eyes on me, I see. <laughs> one eye forward, one eye back. She kind of just stares at you. And then. I would nod. She motions to Emmeline's kind of projection, uh, like kind of folder. It says, Probably Grimace. <laughs> Good. Like when she notices you kind of like getting uncomfortable. It's like losing one of your crew should be uncomfortable. If that is where your loyalty lies these days. Nod. I'm sure you would know quite a lot about this. You on the wall. She looks to the side, like as if like you're turning your head away to not look at something really suddenly. Um <coughs> like some kind of unwanted pop up. And then looks back at the the data pad kind of picks it back up, the projections vanish, tucks it back into the side of her armour. She says, What do you know about politics back home? Mm, I've been a bit out of touch recently since I left the ambassadorial position. She kind of just nods slowly and she says, If I asked for your loyalty, would I have it? <laughs> and she stands, and she looks down at you, and she says, Not the Viscarium. Me. <laughs> You've always been a good um, leader. Suppose, uh, not the suppose part. That's that was just <laughs> 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 I like the suppose part. Right, do you want to try that again then? 
So, uh, right, yeah, you've always been a good leader, uh, but I have came to uh, like this system. I mean, it's completely different than others, but I came to kind of like the laid back nature of it. If it affects it in any negative way, I don't know how well I would be. She kind of claps her hands behind her behind her back. She says, good. Demogesh has a significant mm -hmm. amount of political power currently. I assume that he wasn't, they wouldn't bring the grave epoch and I later to... Yeah, and you did it the right peaceful. way there, right? So let's talk about that for a wee second as our sidebar. She called him Demogesh. Yeah, she just doesn't respect them essentially. Yeah, there like, you go. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, um, yeah, the Grave Epoch Annihilator, as soon as I heard it was here, I thought that there could be only one reason and it's never peaceful. And she um, seems quite tight toothed, as it were, because tight lipped isn't a thing Vesk really get. And he says, Do you respect Tomogesh? Now, this could be a Tomogesh. massive trick question. <laughs> uh, let me think, yeah. People like us were put on the front lines during the war, people like him sat on a ship and bombarded. And she kind of. Um, yeah, there's a look that goes across her face that you're probably not too sure about. And then she says, Everyone serves. Everyone can climb the ladder. You have to start at the, bo the, at the bottom of the ladder to climb. Um, um, I'm... What's the word I'm looking for here? <laughs> uh, I'm testament to that, I guess. <laughs> May I suggest that even though you've got a bad uh, score in it, you might want to sense a bit of motive. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... The ghost of Lyco whispers in your ear, sense I motive. Mean, <laughs> it is a cool idea, I just, I don't know what I feel like. It's not really what you'd be doing right now, you kind of trust this woman. Yeah, mm -hmm. No, and I'm I'm totally okay with that. Like if if everything it's basically shed blood, we are basically so yeah, like right. Kinda, like, <laughs> There's probably, probably innumerable amount of times that she is the reason you still live, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah. So like, I don't know. I, I feel like I would just be like kind of trusting right now. Um, as much as it would be like a good mechanical idea to do it for sure. Um, yeah, that's fine. Like knowing that that totally works. I think it makes sense justification wise as well. Um, but yeah, so. Yeah, that, as I said, that look goes like, kind of across her face when she says the comment about starting at the bottom of the ladder, and then um, she turns back and she says, like, as if she's looking just awkwardly around the room, as if looking at certain objects in the room. Uh, and then she says, Civil war is unavoidable. Is the uh cries for starting the war being that spot again, um, popular in the Viscarium. I assume it's to do with restarting the war. What do you know of the events at Absalom Station? I would sigh. It's like more than I would care to. And she turns and just looks at you. Oh. Like, and I sort of surprised me. Like, did she turn? Okay. Like, like, I mean, she's standing staring. Yeah. Up, like, wandering, like, sort of. Like, uh, Hard to read what's going on. But she's staring at you. <laughs> um. I don't know how much history you've got in a system. Of how much history you've been doing this system, but it seems to be you know, without sounding so dreary, ancient forces that work. 
kind of like nods very slowly with the words that you're saying. It seems certainly not. Uh, so she starts what was speaking. The name of that? So she seems she she just starts speaking, um, and she says, "It seems something old is awake." But not. Older than even me. She gives you like a another unusual look, completely out of tone with the rest of her posture. Uh, you broke up a bit there, sorry. Yeah, broke up for me. I'll repeat, yeah, so it seems like something old is awake. And then she says, something older than even me. And she gives you a look. <laughs> I would snigger. I would like something older than even history. Yes, it does seem to span did, beyond the gap. Did, 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 right, the gap did affect the Viscarium. Like, that's a thing for the Viscarium. Oh, they're aware of it, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, she kind of nods and she says, Please, enlighten me. Um, well, you know, um, good old Deox and its bone sages, um, essentially, um, is it? It's a Librian. Is that a name? Yeah. Librian is the old, old, old name for them, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Essentially, these own sages call them the Librians. Um, one of my crew had contact with one for a while. Um, still as terrifying as ever. Um, <laughs> yes, and then she. Like, you drop this. And... <laughs> she like she holds out the kind of data pad again, and she flicks one of the holograms up. And it's Emlyn's file again. And she says, yes, it seems like this one was affected. Say again, sorry, you broke up at the yep. end part of it. Yep, so she brings out a data pad again, like a remote control, flicks open the uh, the holograms, flicks forward one of the files, the kind of crew files, mm -hmm. and it's Emlyn's file. And she says, yes, this, this one seemed to be affected by one of the bone sages. Yeah, we unfortunately okay. learned of that. Wait, how do you know about that? <laughs> you really have been doing your research. Um, the obsidian star shines in places others aren't brave enough to. I, I would snuggle, so I should have known better to ask. <laughs> um, now keep in mind, we discussed the flashback stuff of facing bone sages in the obsidian yeah, yeah. star. So she would have led to that assault. Put it that way. <laughs> you know exactly what I'm talking about. But I. Um, well, she's still here. Is the point I'm making? <laughs> she actually survived the, mad the madness. Mm. From the front line, no less. Yeah. Uh, front line, behind enemy lines, upside down your head. Yep. On the line. Mm. <laughs> Zip line. You can't handle the line. Yep. <laughs> A few good lines. <laughs> <laughs> <Red line. laughs> uh, <right>. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, unfortunately, I would kind of grimace again. Um, yeah, we didn't learn about that until after she left the crew. Before it was from other means. And she kind of looks and she goes, What other means could it have been? Ah, I suppose you've probably done some research on Edgar Wesland. <laughs> and she flicks through her data pad with like her big kind of spiky nailed finger thumb thing and flicks to the side and finds his folder and flicks it open and goes, Ah yes, the acquisitions officer. Yes, that's the one. It says here that he's the former acquisitions officer. Recently terminated. Mm, not quite terminated. Um, at least his life hasn't expired yet. Whatever, if he even does live. And then she raises an ocular ridge at you <laughs> for you to go on. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> hard to explain. Let's just say he's not quite. Um, 
this plane. <laughs> Her eyes narrow slightly, and then she says, It seems like you're having great difficulty in expressing yourself, the abyss. Um, when it comes to that man, I have a lot of difficulty explaining them. She kind of just nods and then starts dismissing the uh, holograms. Is there anything else I should know? Mm. <laughs> Is there anything else? There's that Dukes of Hazard freeze frame, the silly music plays in the background, goes, the narrator comes across. Now, should Zara tell his old boss everything he's been up to? <laughs> I mean, I don't feel there's anything else utterly, like, important to say. I've said the Libra thing, I've told her about Edgar. It's, it's, yeah. Said absolutely nothing about you waking it up, maybe causing the problem, being on Absalom before it went. Like, um, none of that's been brought up, but I'm trying to say you need to. Did we wake it up, really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, who's to say, right? <laughs> I mean, it's not like Lyco went through some kind of weird we mind time for work for it. We were present for its awakening, but did we wake it up? Remember when Sindael and Lyco went on a fucking temporal mind walk and Sindael seemed to turn crew members into plasmoids? Uh, blobs. Yeah. Seems uh, to. Beverage Farm Yeah. Members. Beverage Farm remembers. But anyway, like again, mm. just you sure what you would want, like you want obviously uh, the Event Horizon to know and... Um, I don't feel like that part would be... That's like, fine. I don't feel like you would say that part. Mm -hmm. I've told her about the over... Odin threat. I've not told her how the threat came to be. Like, I don't even particularly know how the threat came to be properly, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kind of like trying to explain what Edgar Wesland is. It's like, I don't know what he is. He's <laughs> some type of smog rainbow <laughs> creature. <laughs> like, <laughs> you, ever th you ever seen like a black cloud but also a rainbow? <laughs> like if those, if those had like a kid and that kid was a dick. <laughs> you got it, go with <laughs> Weird Arctic cigarettes, yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah, so she um, raises her ocular ridge, stares at you a bit, and then she says, Are you for or against continuing the war? For or against what? The call of Yep. Are you for or against continuing the war? The war. Don't know why I'm cutting uh, off. Absolutely against at this point. Um, when you get beyond our differences, we're not that much different after all. Sure, they don't want to worship the Moritosh, but. Uh. And she draws like three claws down one of her shoulders when you said the Moritosh. Right, like, because she's doing the, the fucking. the, the salute, the prayer, the oh, yeah. come on the touch. <laughs> I'd kind of do that, like, as well, slightly. Mm -hmm. Ever so slightly. <laughs> like, oh shit, I've got to do this fucking. Yeah, because like, it's like a cultural crap. thing, right? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah, so I've not done this in a while. <laughs> and then. Yeah, so she kind of like awkwardly shuffles around the room a bit, like where the this seating kind of takes up most of it now. And then um, she kind of just sits back down and kind of leans back for the first time as if like using the backrest um, on the chairs and looks up just at the ceiling and then looks back at you. And then um, and, like, when she looks up, like plates of the armour like follow up her neck so nothing's exposed. Um, and she looks back down at you and she says, Demogesh will take control of the Viscarium. He will reignite the war machine, and that will not take long. It's kind of wince at the thought. Uh, he is using the events at Absalom to gain a sure foothold in this system. What was the name of the, the, the star sort of empire or something? Sort of, like, <laughs> the Atlante Star Empire? Yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah, the rubbish about the Islantis. 
Zlante. Shit, now is rising. The Zlante threat is very real. However, it is also conveniently adjacent. Oh, so there's drift behind. A convenient drift. F, distant, and unpressing. God. This provides to Mogesh fuel for fire. And what of the swab? Like, again, you see her, like, tense up ever so slightly at that, as if battle ready, like instincts take over um, ever so slightly when you mention swarm, like when you shout let's go for a walk when you know that the dog's going to get super excitable, yeah. um, she uh, tenses up slightly and she says, the swarm has been handled back in our galaxy, or I guess solar system, I guess? I uh, forget yeah, the right term. Yeah, yeah. Let's just say solar yeah. system. Back in our solar system, the swarm are handled. Kept that B. So that's how he's getting the the eyes put back on. Um, system again. What the Viscarium? Have a name. Uh, no, mean, this system. Oh, the the con system. Uh, hey, it's just, called just, the solar system. Well, it's the packed world system, right? So, oh, the packed world. I think yeah. so. That's how he's able to get so many eyes back on the packed worlds. The problem being, the swarmer handled take both hands away from the Viscarium to deal with the packed worlds, and the swarm are unattended. Odd. Also, nothing is to be actively done about the Aslanti Star Empire incursions. To be totally frank as well, um, I don't feel like I feel like it would cost way too much resources to even to just deal with the current problems in a system. Like, there's no, don't know what he's thinking. She's still holding her um, data pad, kind of remote thing in her hand, and she swipes through that. Speaking of current problems in this system, she brings up like a kind of little blue hologram of the the system, and then she double taps the planet at the end, and it zooms in, and it's just like still images, like holographic images, and there's like big kind of prominent style arcs of energy. It's like coming off the the planet um, and like the nice kind of blue hologrammy Star Warsy style um, so not like the way a sun or a star would have big kind of prominences coming from it that's the word right that'll do big arcs of fire <laughs> um, there seems to be big arcs of energy coming off this planet and she says we have sent a team to gather intelligence on this planet. This is not natural. And it just flicks through a couple of stills and it is just like arcs of energy coming away into space and then like obviously dissipating. It seems like the planet is uh, busy <laughs> from the still images. Mm, it's the first I've seen of this. She says, I, I agree this solar system has its challenges. The people slow, fickle, small, however not without value. War is not beneficial. Not with this form and the Aslante Star Empire as they are. The Viscarium should remove these threats before additions to the Empire are made. <laughs> Just kind of ignore that statement. <laughs> <laughs>
but like that's that's future sort of problem. Yeah, right. I go with too much. <laughs> yeah, like it's one of those things where she's Vesk at heart, right? Yeah. Like she salutes the Moratosh. She understands the point of the Viscarium is to be the Viscarium. Um, that's her job. But she's not quite retired, Zora. Yeah, right. <laughs> she's she's still fully active duty, Zora. But at the same time, she's not daft. She's like, what's the point in fighting three wars, or yeah, stopping yeah. the two we are currently fighting to start a third and ignore those two? Um. Because the other thing is, like, right, mm -hmm. you start waging war. But that doesn't mean the other guy's gonna. Right. It's it's, it's all in all not the best strategy if you've got you know mm -hmm. a swarm. Mm -hmm. Never mind the swarm. And never mind the resources That's currently the dedicated. World War One. Yeah. Germans did it. They tried a peace treaty, and like while they were all like killing down, killing the peace treaty, uh, fucking the alliance just kind of went in. Well done. It's like ha, ah, they're they're rolling down because they think we're going to actually go into talks. Ah, the alliance. <laughs> Good old allies. <laughs> Not to get too deep in the history chat because I really almost did there. Um, talk about how much of a bastard Britain is. Um, <laughs> anyway. In this, yeah. So, Kaiser had it coming. <laughs> anyway, carnival. Anyway, the <laughs> yeah. So like, the, there's this weird tense vibe in like her office, and then um, she kind of like says, <coughs> "Demogesh wants war, and he has enough influence to get war. We do not need war at this moment." We should remove Tmogesh. Is that we should remove Tmogesh yeah. or move? We should remove Tmogesh. And what would well. you. What, what do you have in mind? And she kind of like, again, leans back a bit. And she's like, I would have no treasonous thoughts at all, the Abyss. <laughs> That's where I come in. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I know where this is going. <laughs> but as you are the only person who is not in active service of the Viscarium, <laughs> yep. you cannot be tried for treason. Uh, I don't know if like be ocular or rigid right now. Get a real big insult. Ah, I see where this is going. Uh, okay, I'll rephrase the question. What would you have me do? <laughs> so, what is it you say? Do you say I'll rephrase the question, or do you just say? Yeah, I will say that I'll rephrase the question. What would you have in mind for me? <laughs> And I think we just see the grin again. And then I think we cut <laughs> from where you are. Um and I think um yeah, we we go all the way back to the planet. And we zoom all the way in through a plume of smoke all the way down to Zig approaching the diner. Hello. And then, uh, Hello. obviously, the assembly ooze is ahead of you. You both approach the uh, there. It stops and kind of just spins on the spot, and then just slowly starts to like eat its way through the rubble. Okay. Um, is it like clearing a a path or? I mean, it's slowly trying to eat <coughs> bits of diner. Oh, okay. Um, it is I slow think though. <laughs> it's very slow, okay. <laughs> um. Um, can you, Nix5, give me a perception check? I can start to try. Thank you. 22. Cool. It's not quite 22, but it is It is high enough regardless. There are penalties in place I didn't want to highlight. Uh. <laughs> yeah, it's called having a diner on top of your penalty. Um, 
Was that a minus one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like that. Just, just a circumstance bonus minus one. Yeah. Uh, what does it say in the rule book for diners? Um, it actually says just consult the GM handbook. Uh. <laughs> Under poison rules. Um, but yeah, so we. I guess you hear, like, you know, that kind of horrible underwater echoey extra noise in your ears that you don't like, and in your heartbeat, probably. Um, or, I guess, binary. Who knows? And, um. Beep boop. Beep boop. Yeah. Uh, you've got a lot of things on top of you, and you've kind of, like, got your arms free with a comm unit mm -hmm. on each wrist, um, and you can hear, like, the, in the distance, like, the alarms going off. Okay. <laughs> this is not ideal. It's less than ideal, I will give you that. <laughs> I will call out for Alice. It's Alice. possible. Let me do a check. Cool. Um, you um, feel something on your back. Right, just like as if pressing on the back of the armor, and then it's a. Uh, you hear Alice's voice, uncomfortably close. Like, yeah. <laughs> we need to get out. I think that would be a good idea. What and in doing out? so, please commit no more crimes. And she kind of... You probably imagine the look on her face is that she's looking up and to the left. And then... She says... Is it a crime? Blowing up a diner is definitely a crime. I didn't aim at the diner. The consequence of what you did is a crime. One of the read not good ones. That doesn't seem fair. <laughs> you know I'm with her. I'm with her. <laughs> like, cause she was like, yeah, yeah, I hate enforcing those ones. God, sometimes you just gotta blow someone up and other people get in the way, man. <laughs> <laughs> it was only one solar system. <laughs> I am that the sun, not Got the planet. <laughs> um, yeah, so, she's like, I think you should crawl out first. Why? Because I think I'm holding most of this up. I will give it a try. Please be quick. This is really sore. Okay. I hurt more now. I can't say it's undeserved. We will talk about this. <laughs> and then I attempt to crawl. Cool. So yeah, do you want to give me some kind of like android strength roll of some kind involving? Is this an athletic yeah. check? Yes. Does the suit help in any way? Uh, yes. <laughs> I love the it, yes. Let me read to see if it does. <laughs> uh, it. I mean, it sets my strength to nineteen. Well, that helps. Cool. And what is your strength uh, in this? Uh, but then it also gives me a minus three armor check penalty. Okay. So do things like athletics. So okay. Oh, swings from roundabouts. Yeah. So, so oh no. what is the final result of that check then? That is it. That's eleven. That's okay. Everything cool. so implemented. That, good. Good. I will be asking you these questions frequently whenever I'm rolling for Alice, <laughs> who's in the same armor. Speaking of which, the new uh, there's like when you add your armor now, there's like. Uh, a thing that automatically sets up your mods. Dear god, that's glorious. I say it automatically sets up, but you still have to enter them. But it gives you like a template. Nice. So you actually know what you're adding. Good. It's about time that got updated. Yep. 34 sessions in. Thank you, team, whoever did that. That's awesome. Um, but yeah, so like, you start to like, Thank. push forward. And I think what happens is like, maybe you and Alice are a bit just too close. Because um, it's almost as if you're lying underneath her, she's kind of like, almost as if she's straddling you, um, 
with like her wow. hands at either side of you. Uh, you're obviously like lying kind of face down, so it's as if she's tried to cover most of the damage that's hit and fell on you. Um, mm-hmm. And then she mostly regrets this now because obviously before she wasn't used to feeling this type of stuff because it was just a suit of armor before. She kind of expected by buying a suit of armor it would feel the same. So that didn't really work out in her favor. But anyway, um, yeah, like you start to like crawl forward and maybe like you're kind of stuck on her. It starts to like move some of the rocks and the r- rubble, <laughs> not rocks, but yeah, you know what I mean? Moves the debris above her um, to the point where, you know, it does that horrible disaster movie shot of claustrophobia inside. <laughs> so I don't think moving's a good idea now. I've changed my mind. Okay. What's the next plan? Well, my plan was to not blow up the diner. So I think it's your turn. If that was your plan, how did shooting a rocket launcher fit into that? And she kind of um, makes like a kind of weird, like, low hum noise. And she's like, it's um, more of a plasma cannon. Yes, you're correct. Then I open comms to the whole party and just anyone who's available. Please, somebody help. <laughs> uh, Lyco? <laughs> yeah, Lyco. <laughs> you get a sane amount of feedback. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, because it just goes through the two comms on your wrists. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> so you go, Lyco here. <laughs> Horrible screaming. Yeah. Oh, probably Quint here. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit or formal. Just I just, uh, yeah, uh, a, a, a nice, a nice, a nice, just quint. I think is is a, is a sort of semi-formal um, quintessential quint. Oh, oh God. No, this the, the, the starship <laughs> blows up. <laughs> Sails into the sun. Goodbye, Zora. Um, so yeah, I, I I will literally do that. I mean, I'm, that that wasn't just a gag mm. because of the funny noises. Um, I I will I will pick up and answer quint. Uh, Lyco, uh, having a slightly bigger issue with this diner. Uh, is the um? I'm underneath it. I see. Where's the diner? Uh, I've given the street name. Alice, you should. It's on top of us. It shouldn't be too hard to find. Um. Followed the what alarms. Was it being exploded. Yeah. Yeah. That, that Fo- was what I was thinking. Follow next five's alarms. Um. Do you have any idea where the captain is? The captain's missing. Uh, no. I was Port hoping Zig? he could help. It, uh. Mm. It seems it's just me and you then. Um. And and Alice, of course. And uh, me. We're not much. We're not much use at the moment. I'll come and try and assist, but uh. Yeesh, I believe is the uh, the old saying. Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will I will hang up and uh, and explain. <laughs> SK. So like you walk Irvine. back out of the the workshop, I guess, back into like the the kind of common area, like where like your couch is and like food and all that is, and she's there just like. Making a like a latte thing out of the coffee machine, vendy thing. Um, I need to go and help get Nix from under a building. She then uh, turns I around mean, and just squints at you. We haven't like that kind of pursed lips but open mouth thing. Like what? We haven't located the captain, which is concerning, and I I don't know about Zig either. Um, 
it seems before we move, uh, we're, we're going to have to fa find everyone. This has all gone quite drastically wrong very quickly. I'm unsure how. <laughs> she kind of just shrugs while holding this like latte paper cup thing. And she's like, do you need me to give you permission to go? I was awaiting your comments. I was also going to suggest that you stay here so that we not be seen together for reasons of uh, espionage. Yeah, that. Um, I yeah, I got a. Then he literally runs out of the building. I think she's just standing there, kind of squinting, t tilted head slightly, <laughs> as like the coffee is, just, or the kind of like the steam from it is just going up. Um, and then obviously the shorter doors probably just close behind you, and that just like blocks her view right. of her. Yeah, so that that cuts out there. Um, Zig. Yes. So you're at the diner. Um. Right. Did would I have heard any? No. Okay. Nope. Um, I guess I'm there just is lots kind of, of fire. There is a lot of debris. Lots of fire. Mm -hmm. Um. I guess I would kind of stick reasonably close to the ewes. Obviously not clo that close. Well, um, well, the ewes has decided to just slowly try and become one with the diner. Just eat the thing. One with the diner. Okay. Um. Oh, I don't know what he'd do. Hmm. I think he's just a bit confused by all this. <laughs> um. Imagine you got arrested for it. <laughs> <laughs> Alice was like, no. oh, that, that must have been him. I didn't eat <laughs> the diner. Um, <laughs> I think... And he melted people too. He's your wrong. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> I was going to say catch them young oh, with the intention of following up by things so they don't go wrong quicker. I guess. <laughs> but it just sounded wrong. Sorry, Zig, carry on. Do you on. know what? I, I, think, I think he'd... Because he wouldn't actually know what to do because he doesn't really fancy going into a burning, falling apart building of some description. I love the idea that a um, rat with a fucking hard hat and torch has turned up, though. Um, I don't even think that. <laughs> I think I think he would he would kind of do that thing where you 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 pace around and you kind of walk around in circles, trying like half deciding to take a step towards the thing, half deciding to to kind of just run off back. He'd to fuck the, about is what you're saying. Yeah, he would <laughs> fuck about. It. Mm -hmm. He's gonna he's gonna fuck about for a bit. Yeah, like so. Um, maybe and, you... and I think he would kind of just really... slowly kind of walk back towards. Um, the safe house because he's got no idea where anyone is or what's going on, and he's gonna just kind of just leave the leave the use to it. Yeah, and I think as you start to like walk away, like the the use stops doing what it's doing and kind of like slowly wobbles closer to you. Um, do you turn round? Would you have turned round, or would you still have like been walking away? I think he would be constantly kind of looking back um, mm. on the thing because it is it's very strange. Very strange circumstances find himself in. Yeah, and like the, the ooze is kind of more opaque than normal. Um, like you kind of look back and it shakes, kind of as if it's vibrating, um, and it spits out something that clatters to the the ground. Do I see what it is from? Like, would I have noticed it is? Yeah, it's it's quite small and kind of shiny. Okay, is it shiny? Yeah. It is shiny. I think Zig's gonna scurry back and pick it up. It's a spork. <gasps> it then turns on oh. the spot and then goes back into the diner to try and like consume more. Something off you um, play, man. <laughs> um I think Zig's gonna kind of watch it and see if it pops anything else out and if it doesn't for like another minute he's going to do exactly the same and go back yeah and I think um, if you're just like standing there for like a minute or two it stops again doing return and it comes back like right in front of you spins on the spot 
and just like is stationary in front of you. Do you? What do you want me to do? It then vibrates again. And that's another spork hits like in between your feet. And picks it up. It spins on the spot mm -hmm. and goes back to like consume more diner. I think Zig's gonna try and. Is it um? What size is? Has it grown in size or no, is it just kind of like? It's still a five foot cube. Okay, so it's yeah um. So yeah, so it's not building sized, eating the building. Cool. No. Um, I think Zig's gonna go go with the ooze and try and go with it into the burning. Because I feel like it's trying to tell him that they should go in there for some reason. I have no idea why he's listening to the ooze. It's more just a friendly face. <laughs> or why he's listening to what he thinks the ooze is saying. Oh, that's so good. It's, it's a smart ooze, though, so maybe it is telling you something. Um, well, yeah, I mean, it was. It understood my wobbles. Yeah. So. I like. Consumes a bit more, and obviously it is, it's very slow going because it's trying to like break apart bits of like, you know, former diner. And mm -hmm. it stops, kind of like shimmies back a tiny bit towards you, like spins as best it can on the spot, vibrates, and then spits out a bigger spork. A bigger spork? Yeah. It takes like, uh. This is like uh, travel sized. That was trouble, not triple. Are, <laughs> are you trying to tell me something, Ooze? Uh, spins on the spot <laughs> and wobbles. Ah, <laughs> uh, and then um, <laughs> I mean, like I know, I know Alice is down there, right? And I know I gave Alice a spork. <laughs> but would Zig have? Would Zig figure out that that's maybe what the Ooze is saying? That's what I'm trying. Do you want to roll sense motive? I guess. Can I roll sense yeah. motive against? I mean, do I give it a minus two to being sense? So you're technically a plus oh, two no, for I'm this. I think, I think you're a plus motive. two of this, just because the ooze is like. So what? Twenty one. That's reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'd say, um, you can decide what you like. You can, as Callum, you can decide what Zig takes from it. Okay. Since you don't actually know the answer, but you think you know, I'll let you tell me yeah. what Zig knows. I think the Zig thinks the ooze is trying to tell Zig that there's something here that has something to do with the crew, specifically Alice. Okay. And I think that's it. It's like maybe there's something in here that um, is related to them or could help them or something mm -hmm. like yeah. that. Maybe not necessarily that they're there. They're there. They're there. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah. So what do you do? Like, in res Do you respond to these? Gonna... Or... And he goes, uh, I think he'll go, ah! And then he'll flip the torch on on his hard hat and go in. The use spins on the spot and then carries on. Cool. And um, I guess Zig goes searching for whatever it is the ooze wants him to find. So, do you maybe like, do you start digging? <laughs> um, I think I think it's he just starts kind of clambering through things and like d like down like past like broken down um, rafts and stuff, rafters even. Yeah, girders. <laughs> Girders. Girders. Um, also, I just thought of a really good name for the session. I don't know if anyone gets the reference, but um, <laughs> yeah. And I guess oh, like I if, some <laughs> names. if there's like, he's not going to put himself in obvious like the building's going to collapse if I go down this bit and crush me to death. But he's like, you know, kind of just start moving things around and start searching. Right, cool. And like, I think as you start like digging in, do you want to give me a, like whatever you think check? would make sense for this. So it's athletics if you can't think of something cleverer. 
Oh, not athletics, not athletics. Um, <laughs> survival? Sure, I'll give you that. <laughs> that seems reasonable. You're very generous. <laughs> I think part of it's survival. I don't want to get crushed by a building. It's a stretch, you know. <laughs> cool. So I think as you're like moving things out the way, um, you still hear like that kind of vibrating, like humming, consuming noise coming from the the ooze, mm -hmm. and like obviously the ooze is taller than you, so because it's five foot and uh, you're two feet. Yeah. yeah. So like it kind of every now and then when you start to, like move things out the way, and you hear like the vibrating and then the kind of ploop noise, and maybe you look around and there's like like metal braces have have been formed. Um, like just kind of like metal stands propping up bits of the the diner that are above you, um, as if it's using oh. what it consumes to clear its cash. You could say. Oh, whoa. Cool. I think I think Zig would just kind of look at the ooze and give it a thumbs up. It wobbles. Oh, love it when he does that. <laughs> so I think Zig says that. Yeah. What do, what do you say to the ooze? Love it when you do that. <laughs> it wobbles again. <laughs> and then obviously it's still the buzzing, consuming noise as it slowly eats a diner. Um, right. Nyx5, can you give me a perception or athletics check? What would you like to do? Listen for strange noises or try and crawl out? I have my plan. It's to lay here and wait for it to go. Okay. So I will be listening. Cool. Perception. Nice. 22. Yep. You hear a faint voice and some low buzzing. Hello? Hey, Zig, do you want to give me a perception check? <laughs> By all means. Billions. Pardon me. Oof. Nice. Wow. <laughs> nice. Classy, Bob. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> yeah, you can make out like a voice. Hello? Heck? Hello? Am I audible? Sorry. Sorry to yeah. interrupt. My PC went weird. Yes. I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> right. So don't know what the you don't hear happening. Colin's voice. You hear a voice. <laughs> Again, I do apologize. <laughs> okay, I go. Hello? 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 Anyone there? Hello? Yeah. We are yes. here. We are here. Wait, you sound familiar. Where? Where are you? Oh, jeez, what have I done? Ah! Oh, sorry, a window just opened. <laughs> it's very confusing. I just thought that was in character. <laughs> ah! Wait, what's oh, happened? Uh... Character, right? <laughs> <laughs> um. The... We're under the diner. Under the oh jeez right okay um uh Alice says, right what okay M O O. Pardon? Alice like leans down and kind of whispers to you. What if it's M O O? I don't think it sounds like her. She probably wouldn't be asking where we are. That's a good point. Um, just keep keep talking. I'll head. I'll try and find you. Uh. Uh, sure. Just keep digging. Okay, I'm digging. Dig, dig, dig. Can I start like telekinetic projectiling things out my way? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Oh, do I have, I'll have to actually do it, won't I? <laughs> <laughs> Spadonk. Does that work? Blam. Cool. Do I just click it over four times? Cool. Uh, oh man. So that's, oh. that's a 22. Two. A 20 and a 15. Three. 22 four. again. Was that 4? I don't know. I want 5 total, so what do we have? One more. That's last one. Okay, yeah, reasonable. Yeah, so you start to like move things out of the way. Um, I think as you're doing this though, there's like... You're probably pulling things out that are causing like bits of like debris slides because again I'm really loath to see rock slides uh -huh. um, where the, the ooze can't 
create struts quick enough. Um, right, okay. So it kind of just starts spinning wildly on the spot. Um, I think they would be like, oh, uh, sorry. If I noticed that, that is. Sure. I don't know how. I mean, it's a five foot sure, cube okay. next to you. <laughs> so, yeah. And then it slowly just, like starts like plopping out these struts as as quickly as it possibly can. <laughs> but it's mm -hmm. a slow process. A very slow process. <laughs> um, I take a couple of minutes each to like form and then it takes a good like couple of minutes, five minutes, ten minutes to like consume enough to then make another one. So uh -huh. yeah, I think like every fifteen or twenty minutes it can make a, a strut. Um Cool. I guess I think we'd try and be reassuring to these I don't think he has figured out that who who's down there. Um he's a bit um slow today. It's okay. Um Lyco, can you give me an athletics check? Yes, this I is, can. This is a running I to the problem did. check. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> bear with me one second, however. Okay. See if this actually loads again. It did. Nice. Ta -ta. Sorry, I was I I just closed shit down because it was going weird. Athletics, you wanted? Sorry. Yes, please. And athletics, you shall have. Yeah, and I'd say by this point <laughs> you you can have okay. got there because it was about a. I think it was half an hour away from the store, or like the safe house to the diner, give or take, and you running. Yeah, that's perfect. You can get there now. So, yeah. And you see um, there's like security kind of like hover drone things that are like deploying themselves and c creating like holographic police tape, like around the place, as you arrive. Okay. Um, do I see, you know, Ziggy Janusic? Probably not. They're probably already, like, in the rubble by this point. They probably, like, dug their way in quite a bit. I approach cautiously. <laughs> yeah. I'd like these fucking idiots. If you give, like, a, a perception <laughs> check or something, we'll see if you notice um, the clear entry Certainly point. Can do. Perceptioning? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can spot the square shaped hole that is distinctively ooze dimensions. So a five uh, foot yeah, square um, that seems to have been yeah. eaten in. You probably put two and two together there. But, because uh, he's, he's a clever boy sometimes, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to calm Nyx again rather than, you know, shout into the hole in case it's unstable or anything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so I buzz. Nyx here. Lyco, Do I hear uh, that? I've arrived outside the uh, the former cafe. Um, there it's more is of a diner. sure diner. Uh, th there, there's a, a roughly assembly shaped hole. Um, I'm noticing in the rubble. Um, I think this was probably like, makes like there. no sense to you at the moment as well, Nix, because obviously you have no context of the ooze. <laughs> Love it. Uh, Alice is keeping the bulk of the rubble off me. Please okay. hurry. You just hear her in the background. Well, it looks like something's making its way in. Uh, I will follow. Um, yes, we can hear. Help. Well, let's not jump to conclusions. Um, Zig, if you want to, uh, you're, you're loading a clip into a gun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Zig, do you want to roll perception? We'll see if you picked up them chatting. Yeah, by all means. Uh, do, 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 do. Perception. I just thought we'd do all our skill checks for the next season, just now. So. Yeah. Um, right, you can probably hear them mumbling, so maybe you think that they're trying to talk to you, but you can't quite hear what they're saying. Don't worry, I'm 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 making progress. I cool perception. Perception. <laughs> um, right. Da, 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 da. Cool. You hear Zig shout. 
Okay, I come up again, and just like as soon as I hear the calm opening in their end, I don't even bother with them around. It's just like it's Zig. Zig's in his way in. I'll follow him. <laughs> Hang up. <laughs> <laughs> and I do follow him in. Zig. Um, huh? Zig is next. And Alice. Wait, what? What are what are you doing under? Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm on my way. But then obviously there's the and Alice part. I don't know if that triggers the spork memory. Oh, trigger the spork yeah. thing. Ah, yeah, like, oh. and I turn around to the user, be like, ah, oh, you're so clever. It, it wobbles <laughs> and keeps consuming. They could just go thinking hey. for both of you. <laughs> um, right, so I think you maybe hear like some people approach from behind you, Zig. Zig Zig jumps. Ah! It's a Lyco. It was not people. Oh. Uh, please, uh... He's not please. a man, is he? Please remain calm in uh, the... Well... You're like, small, you'd, you'd be ducked over as well space. a bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not entirely convinced the integrity of this structure is, is all there. <laughs> the ah, don't worry, the ooze got it covered. It wobbles and throws a spark at your feet. As in uh, Lyco's uh, feet. And stops it in his cheek bite. It throws it at Lyco's Hi. feet, not the That's, not yours. Oh. oh, sorry. And then it no. spins on the spot and then starts consuming again. Is this is this is this spark an attempt at communication? Yeah, well. I <laughs> says Zig that's got like two in, in his hair and one big one that he's using to dig out with. <laughs> yeah. Well, I thought it was a, a sign that there was something important down here, and then I realized after finding out that it was Nix and Alice that he was trying to tell me that it was Alice's down here. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> um, so that's... Ha. Huh. Well, I thought that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna... Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna leave the questions for later, but for, for now... Yeah. That's, that's great. The uh, ooze stops again, it starts to vibrate and go really opaque, and then it plops out like a support strut, and it kind of wobbles in your direction, Lyco. Uh, it, it carries on consuming. That's, that's, uh, you know, that's, that's pretty handy. Pretty good. I like that. Mm, it's good. It's good. So do you prop up the support strut? Because it's literally just kicked it out of your feet. I mean, yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> it doesn't actually just like fire them out into possession. That it has be been, but that was slower. That was, <laughs> and now you're here. <laughs> okay. It has delegated. I will. I will happily do the work. Do I need to roll anything for that? Nah, it's just a case of like propping it up somewhere that looks relatively, you know, like it could be, you know, could cave in. Is it who's the new captain? <laughs> <laughs> seems to be. <laughs> seems to be making the better choices. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair. It's seen the captain leave in a spaceship, so... That's just take over, man. It's holding the reins while I'm gone. My crew now. <laughs> Never leave the, uh... You know, the cabin behind. What was the... What was Who floating... the kangos? What was floating in it the last session? There was, like, a hat of some kind? Was it, like, a random, like, soldier's uh, helmet? It was like, yeah. It was like... It was like basically pieces like it was a old, goblin like bandit stuff, wasn't it? Like it was a bandit helmet was or goblins. a goblin helmet or something. Mm -hmm. I can't remember yeah, which. Yeah, it was some kind of helmet. Like bandit stuff. It was scavenger like bandit stuff. Mm -hmm. Anyway, equipment. I think it was a goblin helmet. I really feel like it was in a pile of goblins. I feel like it was a goblin, goblin friends. Yeah. So it was. In, it has a. It's probably still got that floating in it somewhere, um, as well, because it's obviously claimed its trophy. Um, but yeah. So you just carry on. Uh, can everybody involved give me some athletics checks then, and we'll see how. How long this takes you guys to like try and dig your way to? Boom! Oofed. So Lyco hul hulks out a bit. Yeah, I mean the great thing about being an operative is you're just good at rolls. <laughs> Does it matter what you're rolling? Not terribly. Oh, sorry. Take, just take the first one. Oops. Um, what am I doing? Yeah, okay. you are indeed. <sighs> Make me do all the work. <laughs> work, work. <laughs> so, um. Let me do another cheeky roll here as well. Oh. So, Michael, you start like plopping up these uh, support struts and then digging out what you can while you're waiting on the ooze, feeding more and kicking out more. 
I'd say maybe another like 20 minutes um, go by to the point where there's like a massive kind of like shift in the debris. Um, Alice screams. Uh, next, can you give me a fort save? No. <laughs> uh, fort. Yeah. Um. Take 13 pain to the Oof. crushing damage. Pain to the crushing! Yeah, like the debris shift and she, like she has just screamed. Yeah. Um, you're, hey, you're, you're, okay, Alice. you're a sandwiched. Um, there's no response. Hmm. Hmm. How long till you get us out of here? So you calm them? I mean, yeah. 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 Just to be sure. Um, there. Depends how your next athletics check goes, but I mean. We're all rolling. Yeah, I mean, you could you could answer them, though, right? <laughs> yeah, well, I will answer. Um, <laughs> uh, remains to be seen. Do well, you have a medic on site? Yeah, we 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 get we get the kid. Literally, you have med kit. True. <laughs> yes. Ah, med kit. Cool. Uh, Zig, <laughs> do you want to give me some athletics? Your. Oh, this mouse is annoying me. There we go. And um, yeah, so you don't need to do anything un underground. You can't really move, to be honest. I am. Um, yeah. At the moment. Uh, but yeah, you start to. Dig in more, you start to uncover, um, obviously, what looks like an arm, which is good. Um, it seems to be uh, <coughs> shattered, though. So it's like you're probably at the front, to be honest. To be fair, probably it's like always side by side, but let's face it, because Lyco is really acing these athletics rules. Just uh -huh. um, so maybe you're in digging, um, and he's like leaning over you and pulling out rocks as well. Um, he's removing stuff and the ooze is doing its best to consume what it can. But yeah, there's um, mm. seems like there's a body with like a shattered arm. I think Zig would kind of like dig around it faster and so like, like, you know, point your light at it and stuff like that as well. Yeah. Cool. It's. Um, I think you'd start pulling a little bit as well. Yeah, kind of I was going to say, yeah, because you are a light. Um, yeah. yeah. So you start to glow and... Your light's reflecting off all this kind of what looks like dark glass. You cut out from me there. Yep, the light from yours reflecting off what looks like a whole load of dark glass. Hmm. Did you successfully drop a building on her? Um. I think they might have um, dropped a building on her. Hmm. Just make sure you get her ruby slippers. What about, what about? Hmm. You could roll perception if you wanted to try and learn more. Yes, no. I mean, I mean, I could, but I thought Zig was addressed, so I'm gonna... Um, Either one can, I just Zig don't know what question. Zig's doing, because I think Zig muted for a reason. Uh, that's okay. Uh, yeah, that's 22, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, it looks like what would have been a black glass arm and hand that has like, shattered. Sorry, I, I had a bit of a coughing. It's okay, <laughs> hopefully you're well. <laughs> that's right there. Um, but yeah, yes. you see what it looks like to be like a completely glass arm, as if almost from like a mannequin, um, that is like, shattered as if it was made of glass. I bet it's a fucking Doombot. Wrong franchise. <laughs> I am a bot. <laughs> An Emma Obot. An Obot, yeah, yeah. An Obot. <laughs> Damn Obots! <laughs> what do you do, Tig? Um, I think he's just gonna try and keep uncovering the... the rest of it and keep, um, and I suppose, head more towards where Nyx is. I think he would shout out for Nyx. I think, Nyx, you still, you still there? You good? Not going anywhere. 
Um, uh, so are you uncovering more of the glass? Or are you uncovering... I think he'd uncover general. more of it for a bit, and then he would just, in general, you know, back yeah. on task. Um, but... You and Lyco dig more, and you uncover more, and it's like there's clearly a torso attached to where the arm would have been attached. It's almost like shattered glass. And um, the torso is there. It's like an offensive kind of like black kind of expensive looking material covered in debris now. Um, and then there's a like a face all caved in that is all black glass and crystal. As if you're How looking much at the... told about Emil. Again, probably at the the, the crew debriefing of where did where did Emmeline go, right? Yeah. But um, you think I well Again, roll culture good, and we can work on how much roll, yeah. Yeah, so say, roll culture and we'll see how much you know off the back of that conversation. Okay, rolling to recognise Emma. Oh Yeah. I mean yeah. I guess I just instantly know. Um It's probably not recognizable in this form though. So I don't think okay. you know it's her, but you would know what Emma O looks like normally. <clears throat> okay. And <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat's vanishing on me. And also, the black glass legs thing is definitely yeah. something that the the captain would have said because they go into weird points at the bottom. So I might associate this with her, but I wouldn't necessarily think, oh, that's well, that's her. Yeah, like, you wouldn't think she was made of glass, right? Um, I've heard, like, she's got f scary looking legs, but I wouldn't necessarily think she is made entirely of that substance. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay. This looks like if you cracked open a quartz rock and there's all the crystal formations inside. Only it's all cool. black glass, as if our face has been caved in, and it's all ah, this, yeah, and all the light from Zig is reflecting, uh, refracting from it. Probably looks really cool. It probably looks really, really pretty, yeah. And amongst all this debris, um, and yeah, maybe like out the corner of your eye, you can probably see like maybe like Alice's leg, uh, under some rubble. Rubel. So you want to give me some athletics checks, and we'll see how quick it takes you to get them out. Athletic. You I swear to God, I pressed it. Nice, nice, nice. And we'll wait and we'll see. Come on. Oh, come yep. On. So again, it takes a wee bit of time for Zig, but Michael helps. And yeah, he starts to like, uncover them. Um, Nix, can you give me an athletics check? <laughs> and certainly try. Yep. And it's as soon as you start to see more light coming through all the, the rock. You can start to like help push things away that's a bit easier now that they've taken away a lot of the weight of it. Um, uh, yep. Um, as you can see, Nick's trying to like help dig his way out as well. You can finally start to uncover both of them. Alice isn't moving. Sorry, doorbell's gone. So yeah. So she isn't moving. Uh, that's concerning, but uh, I think this would be a something next might <laughs> want to address before the rest of us. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I was kind of under the impression that so on where she's gone stationary. Mm -hmm. I'm focusing right. on trying to get out at this stage. Um, yeah, because you're all like crouched over, like with about like barely four foot maybe of clearance um, yeah. as the ooze tries to clean up the way back out um, and Zig's the main healing agent here yeah mm. is he? yeah yeah I think we're just well, asking if yeah, he's he very much at the tank. he's like the whole only healing agent <laughs> <laughs> he's what we've got anyway yeah <laughs> I think Alex was implying is he here though? Zig, <laughs> are you actually here? Maybe, maybe he's doorbell. Oh, I said, I said sorry, doorbell. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't I think I'm back there. from the doorbell. Yeah. That's okay. Um, well, um, we'll give him a wee moment or two. Uh, what I would like to do is cut, a... I'll cut back to Zora briefly, and we'll come back to Zig in a second. Mm -hmm. So, Zora. Sure. <laughs> oh my God! Fucking hell! <laughs> My mouth was open. Yes. So, do you have anything more you would like to discuss directly with the event horizon, or do you want to click back to being elsewhere in the ship? 
Hmm. That is, I'm going to leave well, that up to you. Um. Oh, other than the, the, the what would you have me do, like, statement, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I can pick up straight from there if you want to just get the, the orders right out the way. Uh, may as well. I mean, we may as well, right? Mm -hmm. Unless yeah. you want to, like, flashback that later, whatever. I don't know. No, I'm good to do it now. I would have flashbacked it later if we saw a zig here, but um, we'll do that now. So, we cut back to, um, I guess, just your reaction after they, like, smile and smirk at that. Yeah, it's kind of, there'll definitely be an ocular ridge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> an ocular roll, sorry. <laughs> so, so, so Obviously your eyes screamed, yep. Yeah, yeah. The old eye roll. And then uh, she says, Do you understand this task ahead of you? Uh, political assassination. Uh, it's not the first time we've done it. <laughs> I've been asked to, at least. And she kind of um, just kind of nods, as if that's a normal thing to say in conversation. And then yeah, I mean, she says, Damogesh is a barrier to the Viscarium's progress, ultimately. Big picture. I would not, because I'd probably be in agreement. If it wants to go to Wobby Absol, that's kind of reversion tactics right now. Fighting a three-handed battle when you have two hands is foolish. Would not. Fesque poetry. Yeah, right. <laughs> and then um, she kind of like scratches under her chin a bit. So I don't want to know how. I don't want to know why. What do we need? Hmm. <laughs> this question again. <laughs> I was with this question. I mean, it's almost as if I've given you loads of experience up to this I point. I know. Uh, and I'm still terrible at the question. Um. Well, you know, my ship's in a bit of a bad way, and it could probably use a bit of a uh, fast track into rep reparation. She looks like she says, Why not just take one of our ships? Oh, that's a really good. That's a <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I like how it goes on. <laughs> oh, a, a, a Viscarium ship. We'll have guns. She, put, <laughs> she, she puts up her hand and she says, An obsidian star ship. Ah, uh, absolutely, that'll do fine. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of just like nods. Right. Is that it? Um. Um, hmm. Perhaps some um, information on his operations, maybe, and a rest we could probably handle. Maybe send me a little data packet or something. I will have a ship prepared, and I will have its data bank. Secured. She nods slowly, scratching her chin. I'll hopefully see that it's done. And if I don't, well, I guess we probably won't be speaking again. She um, like does the three claws over her shoulder when you kind of say, "If we don't," um, and she says, "All in service to the Viscarium." Mm. And ourselves, I would nod and do the demo gash. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she just kind of nods at that. Um, so yeah, if there's like nothing else for you to ask in that situation, then I guess we fade out there yeah. on that one. Seems like a good fade out. Mm-hmm. Um, do we have Zig That was yet? a quick, that was a quick fucking figuring out what we wanted, man. That was like the nice. quickest year. That was uncharacteristic. <laughs> you know what? I'm just not going to speak. It doesn't work. <laughs> Anytime I try... <laughs> All goes awry. <laughs> uh, where is he though? Right, right. sorry about that. Perfect timing. <laughs> so oh, very perfect. Do you even have a doorbell? Yes, it's really loud. Like a really loud. Are you sure someone wasn't just looking for the toilet shop? 
Yes, that's exactly what it was. Someone came and was like, ah, oh, ah, uh, I need to buy a toilet. And then... Um, Meanwhile... But yes, anyway, in sorry the scene about that. that um, we have, let's re <laughs> readdress it. So, just to replay some of it for you, Zig, the Lyco's help to uncover Alice and Nix5. Exposes both of them. Nix5 gets up. Highlights that Alice isn't moving. Boys, you can take it from here. Um. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think it could be like, Nix, uh, Alice, Alice? She needs medical attention. Um, can I try and I don't know. Wait, maybe I won't. Maybe I'm not the best person for this. What are you thinking? I was thinking of just going to magic or life. You're the only person for this, Vic. <laughs> yeah, get it. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll 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 try, and I think he's just gonna go over and he's gonna try and do some some heal heals. Cool. Can it, can I just cast Mystic Cure? Will so, that help? So, do you need to touch her for that? Yes. So, you can put your hands on her, you can cast a spell, and we'll see mm -hmm. what happens. Let's go with... Shabam. Okay, yeah. Um, roll a... Will save? And also a mysticism skill check. Right, and I'll do. Here comes mysticism. And will. Cool. Uh, so, what does it look like? Describe what um, the people see. Do, are you still glowing? As is, is it just your hands? Yeah, glowing? just just dully, um, not mm -hmm. like super bright. Um, and he just kind of kneels down and puts like both hands on. On to Alice. Sorry, uh, and um, just takes a deep breath, closes his eyes, and his hands glow more. And it's like kind of like the glow comes from like him, and then like pulses into his hands. Okay, like yeah, like it travels like the yeah. brightness from you goes all the way into like the palms, yeah. etc. Yeah, into her. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um. Yeah, like there's like a we get it from like Zig's perspective there, where like we're we're looking at his face at, anyway, and then there's the pulse of light from the hands, and um, kind of like whitish, yellowish, kind of warm light. Um, you're standing on a really thin level of water, in a very kind of like the water itself is all black. You're standing there, um, much like you were with like the Radiant Supreme. Um, there's this really really strong bright orange light at one side giving off lots of heat um, and you're standing next to Alice she just looks down at you she goes oh hi um what and then as you say that the big orange kind of light source at one side starts to crack open and then you just see like oh, movement crawling out of it will end there as Alice takes a breath under a diner surrounded by her friends oh, oh. Ah. Hmm. so we're okay we'll wrap that up there boys life finds a way um and uh, what would you like to call this session <laughs> going deeper underground Jumiroquai. <laughs> 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 Ah, <laughs> uh, to penguin of doom. Um, that doesn't seem fair. Was the one that I wrote down. Friendly faces was one that I wrote down. Ziggur T Rock was one I wrote down. Ziggur T Rock. Zig wobbles back. Um, I like Zig wobbles back. Pebble is precious. Tail rail. Um, King Ivan of Assembly Cubes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to vote in the chat by putting um, 
what the one thing I actually think I want the title to be, but I think we'll do there. Or, or no. And that's what I'm putting in this mass suggestion. Um, another option is, um, I guess, Uh, but yeah, any suggestions you've got, dump them in. We'll pick one. I'm lacking for anything serious at the moment. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> into Deep is actually pretty damn good, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think Into Deep's a yeah, really good one. It kind of works. Say. It works both ways. Yeah, but. it's. It's a good one. Dang I was trying to think of something that would like cover everything, but it was kind of hard. That kind of covers everything. That's uh, so yeah. yeah. Nope. I think that's a winner, honestly. Unless somebody's got <laughs> something that knocks out of the park, but I think that that is it. So, cool. Into deep will be the name of session. Let me just try and type that with human letters. Session thirty-four. Into deep. Um. Right. Goals. <laughs> Hmm. Let's start oh, up at Zora. So do I just move that I, to the completed pile right now? Yeah, let's say, just, yeah, let's just cover it. Like, that was entirely the... Like, I would have been so upset if you'd changed that goal. <laughs> yeah, I think that's... that's... perfect. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I mean... <laughs> uh, I know, like, my, I guess... I don't know if, like, my immediate goal would be to go after my star. Demogash. Um, Demogash. I realize it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, That's something we can work on together, though. This is a particle. Yeah, Look at that. Boys. A particle. What? Um, particle. A particle. A particle. No, no, Nico dumped that into the completed list under power armor. Oops, wait. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Da, 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 da. Um, Nix. Five. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't get anywhere on that one. No. I was unfortunately, you know, Trapped. swamps, <laughs> swamps <laughs> under with other issues. Yeah. Diner under. Like, Diner. I was trying to think of, like, diner puns the entire way through. Like, check Diner please. Mate. Diner mate! Diner mate, that's pretty good. Damn. Oh, I kept getting caught with that earlier. I just, uh, it is good, but I also like in too deep. Like I feel like it does cover everything. Sadly, um, can you copy it and paste that over, Nico? No. It does not. It's not keeping the font and stuff. Uh, What's the font? It's, it's a caveat. Like I just did. It's, it's a caveat. I okay, just, I just copy and paste it over, and it worked. There we go. Um, right. Uh, so goal-wise, um, happy as is with your goal then, Nix? Are you? Yeah, okay. to... I stuck on that one for now. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I want some out of the hole. It'll be fine. <laughs> out the former diner. Um, Lyco. La 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 Lyco. Lyco virgin touch for the very first time! <laughs> anyway, uh, I do actually like Madonna, so I shouldn't make fun. Well, early mid. Not early! Carnival. <laughs> Your goal. Shh, stop it! <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I think the count goal kind of stands now that the team is starting to yeah, come right. back together a bit, and, and, and we might be able to, um, with captain return, potentially address that before moving on to the, again, sort of like a, a, a middle term sort of goal of of, of dealing with the Mogesh. Uh, I, I'm very pleased from the sound of it that I, I am going to uh, actually be able to assassinate him because out of character that was something that I thought would be great fun to do. Right. Um, <laughs> I mean, like obviously that wasn't what I was asked to do, but it was what <laughs> my mind went to. I love that. And, it's uh, it's not what my my former boss told me to do, but it's what I took from that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, anyway, so I, I I'm quite I'm quite pleased with the, with that. Well, it means you've actually conference. potentially, if you get back in touch with Zora, Zora gets the data from the event horizon. Yeah, it puts me. Uh, it puts me a little bit ahead. You could then actually that's... speak to Commander Babak and be like, "By the way, mate, he's a dick." So, yeah. Yeah. Or plausible deniability. 
uh, find a way to engineer a circumstance in which uh, someone else kills him. <laughs> Alice orders something from the diner on board. Maybe. Um, blows up his ship. <laughs> I think that's pretty good. Well, um, right, so you're happy to keep your current gold in, the Hamani Drow Vault Furdler one? Ah, yes, the Hamani Drow Vault Furdler Paradox. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, I am quite It's more happy. of a love triangle. Never mind. Cool. Um, Zig, our yeah. burning sun. Um, happy with your goal as is? Looking to I am happy with progress. my goal as is currently. Good, good, good. And then back. Decided it today. <coughs> right. Sorry, I'm kind of I'm okay. struggling now. Okay, we're almost done. We're almost out. We're almost clear. Um, oh man, clearing things up would have been a good title as well. But anyway, um, Zora. Yes. Any okay, ideas like, what would your goal would like to be? Um, Just to cycle I'm back not to. Not sure. Not too sure. But I think. Um, I mean. The goal would be to like, start walking towards the Moritosh, probably. No, the Moritosh. Fucking the Moritosh. Moritosh. Yep, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could try uh, and take out the, the Moritosh if you want. That's a, God that's Slayer, a long, man. long. Oh, how good a Vesk title would that be? God Slayer. God Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if there was a title to go for. I mean, it's still time, right? Right, so right. Zora has a long term goal. God Slayer. <laughs> Become the God Slayer. <laughs> um, Any thoughts? But yeah, I don't like. I mean, that would be his goal, but I don't know if that would be like his immediate goal. And it would be a bit too cheesy to just say, reconvene with the party. <laughs> like, because that's the mm. bit. That's an obviously going to happen, which sort of like. I mean, it's never guaranteed in my games these days, is it? Like, it's true. Um, but hmm, let me think. Um, it's like when you buy cable ties to keep your computer so cables all neat and tidy with the best of intentions, and you change out three components, and everything's a mess. What? That what is what trying to keep your timelines together. Party. Like, <laughs> we can with a party and discuss <laughs> double gash because, like, I mean, that could that could be like two or three sessions down the line. Like, actually having a chance to discuss stuff. We know how that's been. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, because they're obviously in the rubble of a diner. There's maybe going to be an authorities problem soon, and then possibly an MRO problem. Yeah. Because, so. I mean, I just it, it kind of looks like MRO was killed in a diner by Alice. <laughs> I mean, I'm not against it. <laughs> Good job, Alice. So, yeah. Jail time could be bad. Uh, uh, how's... How, uh, what were we thinking? Oh, oh. There we go. Reconvene with the party and inform them about the vest. Yes. Cool. Um, like, sure, we'll, we'll, we'll review that at the start of the next session as well, but that's... Yeah, good I don't know if it's about too easy. I mean, it seems a bit easy, but you never know what could happen. I would say if somehow I just make you back with the party, which I'm not sure what will happen next week, um, we'll we'll look at that goal and we'll decide, and then. But let's start with Zig in terms of our end game chat. Alrighty, that was really fun. <laughs> yeah, I actually think yeah. it was quite nice to get a lot of Zig time this session as well, which was good um, to. Yeah, um, I really loved the ooze. <laughs> <laughs> is 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 amazing. You're, you're, hello, hello, all of Nico's noises from our cage. <laughs> um, oh, the, there was just a lot of um, a lot going on with um, Zora. And, yeah, which was it was actually really cool and really interesting. Um, Thank you. I'm, I'm actually probably going to have to go back and listen to some of that as well to kind of. Yeah, glean what actually was going I, on. There's a mist that I mean, basically I I think my brain's probably skipped over a lot of that. To be fair, your brain was in translate um, ooze mode, so that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> so um, but yeah. Yeah, it was really good. Um Alice is Alice. I mean you Nick's you saved her just, life. Right? Nix is just Could have repeated it, buddy. Um, I was about to say that. Fantastic. Honestly. Killed yeah. her once, saved her life. I mean, that's you even. Like, <laughs> yeah. 
No, I mean, yeah, that's that's you know. Yeah, like that I, might be I, a I really really paid, good. Paid my paid my price. Mm-hmm. Um, um, See, yeah, kids, you can do I good. Really enjoyed it, and it was nice. It was nice to do a ziggy things. Yeah, like one of my favorite things to was being mentally tormented the whole time. Yeah, right. Because you earlier on in the game having gave Alice the spork lets me do things now like have the ooze be like this is how I know you know her <laughs> holds up spark yeah like mm-hmm. here is spark this means Alice right <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that's it's really nice to be able to do stuff like that as like callbacks and such so that you can interpret languageless creatures that way um in a way yeah, no, that was really good. It was, as I said, it was nice to not just have um, Zig the Punished um, yeah. this time, despite what you so possibly nice. thought given the invasion of the Radiant Supreme. Mm. But yes, I can't wait to see how Zig's journey of discover what the Radiant Supreme means by Awoken. That's good. I'm looking forward to it. Um, anything I'm for excited that? too. Um, no, that just about covers it, I think. Um, I just enjoyed all of it. It was really fun. Mm-hmm. It was nice to have you back. Good. But um, yes, yes, I think I need to pass out now. It's okay. We'll <laughs> catch up with you in the future. Um, bye. 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 And bye. Good and Love you all. Bye. Hey, Zig. Now, Colin, do you want to go next? Sure. Um, I now see the uh, not server plague. Uh, I understand who you're referring <laughs> to from earlier. Um, yeah, I'm also a bit wiped, so my thoughts may not go as long as they usually do. So you can. I don't know. We're all Pretty really happy easy. about that if you want. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, so the uh, I, I was quite amused actually. I mean, the the thing with the uh, the interactions between Zig and the and the assembly is, and Zig sort of just not getting it was quite mm-hmm. funny. Like he took a while, Cat, but caught and on really quickly. But Zig, God bless him, did not so much. Um, but yeah, that was it was cute. It's like the, the callback, as you said, was quite sweet, and it, and it was a neat little trick that sort of is showing us gradually how you can interact with this thing. Uh, I really enjoyed, hence my reference to it, uh, it said wobbled back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? It's glorious. Love that. Um, Pebble is precious. It's interesting, yep. actually. Uh, uh, Alex, I don't know if this, again, this was how you were playing it deliberately or just how I was interpreting it. But I felt there was definitely a tension there, uh, not just you know pressure from being squished. Um, it, al- it also felt like there was definitely a degree of um, annoyance on account mm-hmm. of the uh, the uh, less than responsible actions of Alice. Uh, that, that that definitely felt like it was a conflict that would naturally occur. And I think like you handled it quite well because yeah, it, it wasn't. I am scowling and angry at her. I just got the impression that you were a bit pissed that she'd caught <laughs> this mess. Uh, yeah. And obviously concerned, um, but it definitely came across that, and it makes sense that someone who is rather rational would not be particularly impressed with that course of action. Um, <laughs> hmm. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think that was cool. Rash um, throws a list down. <laughs> <laughs> He's um, fucking set his self destruct like three times now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Says the yeah, captain yeah. who burnt people last session. I mean, <laughs> I'm, not, I don't, I'm not responsible. <laughs> I also enjoyed getting to see the captain sort of uh, interact with the Vesk on, on their terms. And you see, seeing like that, obviously our characters don't. Uh, mm-hmm. But getting to see, like, oh yeah, his loyalties actually are more with the crew than the Viscarium now. And in a, to the point where he admits it, which is quite a thing to see, right? Mm-hmm. Especially to like your old uh, boss, right? <laughs> yeah. Although I kind of think she was anticipating that. I get the feeling that she didn't particularly care so long as their own interests aligned, which yeah. happily they did. <laughs> I made mean, I mean, thought behind it as well, isn't it? It's probably the best fucking answer to get a commander. Like, like mm. where's your loyalties land, do you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, my crew. Yeah, crew they, yeah. Your people. Like your, I think intuitively that would make sense. Also, so, you know, would, she, would she have actually believed you if you said, "Oh, the Viscarium, even though you are technically exiled, self-exiled"? I mean, I yeah, I right. Quit, like, I totally, like, yeah. Um, so yeah, that that was cool. Um, and yeah, I really just enjoyed that sort of the confluence event of events where it's like the uh, the goal that I had set that could maybe 
mean that my character wasn't the same trajectory as the party. I actually know it's it's gonna it, it's gonna be something that potentially pulls the party together instead. I think that's cool. Uh, mm -hmm. Certainly, it'd still be a, a, an objective that suits my skill set, like like I can do solo work for. Mm -hmm. I like having that option, but it's nice that you know it, it all comes together. And and I think like I think there's there's definitely a medium term goal there, as I was saying. And we've we've sort of we've sort of got our upcoming thing, which is get back together, deal with Hamani. Uh, but then we have our next thing ahead of us. We can see what's over that hill, provided we can get there, mm -hmm. which is a good position to be. Well, yeah, because you've you've got currently there's like almost three spheres of like progress at the moment. You've got get everything back together, and then kind of hold uphold your word to escape. Right, go attempt to go stop Hermione getting into the Drag Queen, Queen's Vault. You've then got the Demogesh situation and the Vesk potential civil war. Um, but then, obviously, from a player perspective, you just know Zig has been told about the stranger, and yeah. from Zora's perspective, the Obsidian Star are keeping an eye on that planet at the edge of the solar system, which is mm -hmm. Octurn. So, yeah, also known as the stranger. So, it does seem like you know roughly where the plot is going at the same time, or where you will be like driving alongside um, the, the sightseeing visits etc on the way to the plot which is good I like that I also wanted to try and increase the pace a little bit I hope it feels yeah, like more right. is going on um, so it's good that that's coming through one little thing I want to say about Zora before we get up, up to Zora is um, oh my god did I love the reaction Zora gave when um, uh, <laughs> the event horizon replied I mean I would never Commit an act of treason. <laughs> <laughs> like instantly, as soon as you said that, oh well, my fucking god! Yeah, that was good. that was good. That was really good. I had to see. <laughs> In fact, we just got the exact replay. Perfect. Um, it was so so good. So thank you, Nico, for that. It was perfect. Um, anyway, sorry, Colin. Was there anything else you wanted to add? Uh, no, actually, having thought about it, that that is something I would like to add. <laughs> yeah. Because that was such a nice moment of like, um, it was funny in Nico's reaction, but also obviously in character, like Cap instantly getting it. it's like right. Mm -hmm. All you need to say is, oh, by the way, I would never do this. <laughs> and then, like the implication that's that, uh, but you could. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> because. It's it's the unspoken thing that I I just really enjoyed that that was cool, mm -hmm. and it was a lot of fun. Yeah, the Obsidian Star, right? It's kind of in the name. Um, yeah. What about yourself then, Nix Five, the Unrubbled? Yes. <laughs> no, it was um again probably much the same as Collins already mentioned. I just kind of adored the um the Vesk banter. It's not something we get enough of, <laughs> I'd say. Or I, I, I don't think we've had any of really up until this point. Yeah, is that, I was gonna say the only thing this... you've had was the white dragon you have seen shift yep. <laughs> into like a yeah. really tall white vesk, but that was it. Um, yeah, kind of getting the uh, a bit more backstory as well on Zora, mm. where um, it's kind of yeah that glimpse into his other life and. What larger things matter to him, other than just the ship? Yeah, because like the the Viscarium perspective is, the Pact worlds, are a goal to achieve at some point as an extension of the Viscarium. So it was for me it was important to like almost remind the audience, as it were, you know, you guys as players being the audience as well, um, to be like, yeah, the Vesk have a like the Viscarium. I keep saying sorry, the Viscarium goal was only put on hold because of the swarm. Mm -hmm. So the idea that Tmogesh is like, oh, it's cool. We'll just take, you know, the Pact Worlds now. Obviously, people that are sensible are like, yeah. no. <laughs> yeah, but he's obviously thought, well, look, there's this brilliant opportunity. Mm -hmm. We'll do it slyly, which I have to imagine. Right, I, the, the fact that he's sort of trying to be sly about it a bit is maybe part of their problem with it. Right. <laughs> it just doesn't feel like how they would want well, to conquer. Put, like, put it in perspective, who is the person 
that is annoyed with it just now. The head of the Obsidian Star, right? The Spec Ops team. Yeah. So the sneaky people are like, why are you trying to do Earthing? <laughs> so stop stop on my fucking. That's stick. our job, and we don't want to do that. So we'll be sneaky about taking you out from doing what we should be doing, but later. <laughs> so yeah, it's just a uh, long-term kill stealing. That's all it is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Ed Usher yeah, had uh, preemptive self-defense. <laughs> yeah, um, Ed Usher like to add their looks. Um, and obviously Zig being adorable with yous. It's just always. Yeah. I mean, the Ooze is putting in uh-huh. time, right? It's putting in time with people. <laughs> it's, it's, it's solidified, it's part of the cube. It's true, man. It's like. <laughs> wow. Oh, dear. Um, I mean, you came back for it, Zora. Do you know what I mean? It, it, it's happy. And then you it's abandoned it. <laughs> I don't need to abandon that! <laughs> it's not my fault. Um, <laughs> it's not my fault. I really, I really enjoyed. I think, obviously, as Colin said, the tone Alex has for Nyx is always <laughs> enjoyable when it mm. just sounds, as you said, that really disappointed parent that knows shouting at the kid <laughs> doesn't help. Um, and it is just that tone of, but why? <laughs> and, and I'll be honest. I don't plan dialogue, and having, unless it's super important things I need to read out, um, which is very rare, um, but her response really tickled me, even though it was me that said it, but obviously I ad-libbed it, so it was a surprise to me too. Just that I didn't aim at the diner. <laughs> <laughs> that just, re- honestly, yeah. it was... I kind of wish it was a TV show we got to watch at the same time, because I would love to just see whatever actress plays Alice deliver that line while holding up rubble being like that doesn't seem fair <laughs> um, like that's the law is stupid how am I to blame for this happening <laughs> <laughs> but obviously if she thought in binary right like that wouldn't happen but anyway um, Zora um, I enjoyed speaking to the old, the old commander that's always good fun <laughs> the um, old commander yeah she was pleased about commander. that <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't even mean that, but that's fine. It's so good. <laughs> um, I enjoyed that. Um, obviously, like, the, the Zig his interactions was fantastic. Like I was pretty much chuckling the whole time. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, yeah. yeah, just interactions between uh, just Nick and Alice, as per usual. Um, all the fact that just Alice just bazookas Emma. <laughs> um, I mean, well, I was there to give it a thumbs up. Put it this way, right? Put it in perspective. You have had that briefing about what happened to Emily. Some of you know directly being Zora, who probably took the, led the briefing. And in Alice's head, she took Emily's place in the crew, right? Mm-hmm. Maybe it's not obviously the direct translation, but in her head, she's like, okay, you need me to be pilot now because she's, you don't have a pilot now because the scary black glass legged lady took her away. And then she turns up. What would Alice think? Yeah. I am next. <laughs> I'm going to take away. She's going to take me. So, I'm the most right. I <laughs> gathering pilots. It's like the <laughs> subplot. The subplot that's told through the newspaper clippings and Watchmen. It's, um. But not with magicians. No, it's just for the, the Great pilots. Aspis Consortium race. She's going to build space a race. giant squid. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've um, told Alice as well yeah. that, like, with. Aspis probably shouldn't see her. Like, like mm. probably come into play as well. She's Aspis. Was <laughs> theirs. Yeah. yeah, and she obviously wasn't happy about the. Oh dear God, that seems like that's the, the boss. Okay, boom. <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess I, I got a scoop. No, but I no think worries. we're wrapping up about now. Yeah, I was going yeah, to say, is there yeah, anything else to add there, Zora? <laughs> ah, I mean, pretty much everything else was already said for the most part. The last thing I'd like to add then was um, Lyco's awkward handling of um, Escape. Being like, can you just wait here? <laughs> that was good. If you could. Yeah. <laughs> like, just just wait here. I, I, and then just run. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm glad it came across well because I actually had no idea what Lyco <laughs> was going to do. And it's like, wait, well, I don't think he has any idea what he's going to do, actually. 
No, it was good. It was really well done, guys. It was fun to be back after the anniversary session, and I will see everybody for the next session. Everybody go sleep. It's up late here. Thanks, everybody, for listening, and thank you, everybody, for playing. Yes, bye, thank you, everybody. Bye, bye, guys. Thank you. Catch Goodbye. You all later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. bye.